While the ground may not be tinder dry right now, below the surface, some parts of Maine are still abnormally dry. Especially western Maine near the Canadian border and the entire coastline. Is it weather? Is it climate change? In our continuing series on Maine's changing climate, New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan reports it may be both. On the shore of Flagstaff Lake in Eustis, a half hour from Canada, rain has been somewhat rare for the past year. When I walked across my lawn in late June and it was crunching under my feet, I thought, this isn't good. Mary Dunn runs the store at the beautiful Cathedral Pines oh Campground and says drought in this part of Maine began last summer. Last year was very dry, yeah. Like I said, first time in 50 years in the history of the campground that they've had a problem with their well. This well, the people who manage the campground say the well got so low they had to close one of the shower buildings and haul in water for cleaning camper waste tanks. Eustis is on the edge of a swath of western Maine that's been abnormally dry for most of the last year. Much of Maine suffered from a lack of rain last spring, but then it turned wet in July. But Ryan Gordon of the Maine Geological Survey says this area was left out. And then it pretty much cleared up through most of the state last fall, and, but, but has really stayed dry or in moderate or severe drought in, in far western and northwestern Maine. And it continued into the winter with December and January snowfall below normal, according to the National Weather Service. February and March were better, Gordon says, but the snow melted early. So the drought right now has improved slightly since um, the snow melt started in April. Um, but like I was saying, the, the snow just it was below normal, so it hasn't been a, a huge recharge event. Recharge meaning rebuilding groundwater levels so wells don't go dry again including this one, a special monitoring well in Cathedral Pines that sends water level data to the U.S. Geological Survey. Groundwater levels are low already there now. Where Nick Sosoulis says the well was the lowest it's been since it was drilled almost 40 years ago. We did get some of that snowpack and rainfall, but it wasn't enough to bring us back into what we would consider the normal range even. We're still below normal. So starting off the spring season below normal, uh, there's some potential there to, to see some critically low groundwater levels. The biggest local impact was wells. We are told that so far this year they've been all right, but the campground and some homeowners are having new, deeper wells drilled just to be safe. Fire danger has been up and down this spring. Recent rain has helped manage it. Here at the campground, of course, they're wondering what this season's going to bring. Will they get more or less normal rainfall or another dry year? And is this just a short dry spell or is it a sign of more unpredictable weather because of a change in climate? This is a, a dry spell for that particular area. However, there is a climate connection. State climatologist Sean Burkle says the immediate cause of the lingering drought is weather patterns, which will eventually change. But he says winters are generally becoming warmer and shorter because of climate change. But again, the, the climate portion of this is that um, with uh, shortening winters and a, a shorter period of snow cover and ice cover, we are seeing a change in when, um, when ice breaks on streams and rivers and when peak flows are. And so that's part of the, um, uh, of the picture in terms of soil dryness. And that, he says, also affects groundwater levels. Climate predictions are for more precipitation overall, but the climate forecast is not for low, slow, drenching springtime rainfalls. It's for shorter, more powerful storms where the rain may fall all at once and run off rather than soaking into the ground. Add to that, if it rains in the winter when the ground is frozen, the water doesn't soak in either. We could use a few days of good steady rain. The western mountains have gotten more rain over the last few days, but they still need more. That's not one rainstorm, that's not two rainstorms, that's a significant amount of rain that they would need just to catch up to where they're supposed to be. With no way to predict when or even if that may happen. In Eustis, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine.